Today, we are gonna be feeding all of my snakes. We One, two, three. This rat is thawed out. You can see right here, look at that. He's coming on out, he just totally nailed it. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob. Welcome to my jungle and welcome to my channel. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video, it is a much requested one. Everyone keeps asking me to do a feeding my animals video. So we're gonna do a little series. So today is the first day of this little series. We're gonna be doing it over probably the next month or so, but today, we are gonna be feeding all of my snakes. We've got red tail boas, king snakes, tiger rat snakes, all kinds of crazy animals. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, well, we're gonna hop right into that. So before we can actually feed the snakes, well, we need to defrost some snake food. And by snake food, I mean rats and frozen chicks. So we have them right here. I've got a bag of large rats as well as some frozen chicks. So. There's actually a local guy down here in Miami um, that most of the people get all their frozen rats from, so that's where I get them. I don't like to feed live because it's mean to the rat and the chicks, and they could injure the snake. The rat could bite onto my snake. It could injure my snake, so frozen thawed is the best way to do it. My snakes love it, and to me, it's the easiest. You don't have to have live rats. You just thaw them out. So we need today, we need one of these large rats. So let's kind of pull this guy on out. We need one of these. We're going to put that in the bucket. We got one large rat in here, and we're going to need a bunch of chicks. We're going to need like an entire handful of one, two, three. All right. The only thing left to do now is we've got to go and thaw them out. So we made it outside. I've got all of our goodies, all of our treats for the snakes. So the fastest way to actually thaw these out to get them ready to feed is to actually water them. So we got our bucket here. We're just going to put this right here, and we're going to turn our water on just like that. And Let's see, so okay, let's reposition this. So the hose is on, and the hose is actually going to fill this up, and it's gonna keep overflowing the water. We're going, and let's see, we're waiting for an overflow, and they are thawing out. So the rats and the chicks will kind of stay on the surface as the water overflows, so the water doesn't get cold, and it's all going to kind of run down right here into the dirt. So the rats and chicks should probably take about 20 minutes to thaw out, and that is perfect, because in the meantime, we've gotta go into the shed and soak some baby tortoises. So we just made it over to the shed, and we have a lot of baby tortoises. Everyone has been asking me when are tortoises going to be restocked. So right now, there's baby tortoises live on the website. We have not that many, because not all these are on the website. So we're gonna have a couple of uh, bright orange red foots as well as regular red foot. So let's get them soaking, because this is how you get them nice and hydrated. So guys, watch this right now as their color changes. You can see their color, now look at them right now. You can see once you wet them, they get much more brighter in color. All right, let's go. We're gonna fill it up so we can soak them, make sure these guys are staying nice and hydrated. Let's go, let's go, and that looks like enough, so let's kind of just spread them on out. So like I was saying, right now on the website, we're gonna have some bright orange red foots as well as regulars. So for those of you that are new, you're probably wondering, what is a bright orange red foot? So this right here is a bright orange red foot. You can see why I call them a bright orange red foot. You can see that gorgeous head right there and that nice light blonde shell. And then this would be a regular red foot. So you can really see the difference right next to each other between the bright orange and the regular. So you can see that the bright orange is nice and blonde and the regular is a much more darker color. But nonetheless, each and every one of these tortoises is a beautiful gem. This guy right here is absolutely incredible. You can just check them on out. This one is, Maybe going to be on the website, I'm not sure. Um, guys, place your orders right now. Today is Wednesday, so if you place your order today, tomorrow, Thursday, they'll ship. So guys, if you've been looking for a baby tortoise, now is the time. I mean, just check them out. These guys are absolutely incredible. And look at the colors on that one's neck. You can see the bright orange red foot right there. It's got some crazy, crazy looking colors. Absolutely amazing little creatures. Make sure to go get yours. And now it is time. I think the rats should be thawed out. So let's go get our rats and feed our snakes. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's see what we're dealing with. So there's only one way to see if they're thawed and they feel thawed out to me. Let's feel the rat. I mean, guys, this is not the funnest, but as we can see, this rat is thawed out. So I'm gonna empty this water and we're gonna get to feeding. So we finally made it into the shed and it is the moment all of you have been waiting for. We are getting ready to feed some of the many snakes that call my jungle home. So again, we've got our chicks, we've got our rats, we've got our bucket and this is the first snake that we're gonna feed today. So this right here, in here, is actually a red-tailed boa that I caught wild here in South Florida. We have an invasive population. 
So it's really cool to be able to catch my own snakes, be able to keep them. So let's actually get this girl on out. Let's see if she wants to come on out. You wanna be a nice girl? Let me show you her. I'm gonna try and feed her on the outside of the enclosure. You can see that this right here is a gorgeous red-tailed boa. And look at this snake right here, and look at those gorgeous oranges. That's why they call them the red-tailed boas. And I actually caught this snake in the, in the road, in the wilds of South Florida. Just a super cool snake. So basically, what I want to do is I want to put this snake on the ground, and I want to see if the snake will eat from outside of its enclosure. So we've got one chick right here, and we're just going to slowly dangle that chick right here. I think she's going to nail it one. I think she might get it one, two. Come on. You want to eat it? So a lot of times when these snakes do come out of their enclosures, they won't want to eat. They'll want to eat in their enclosures, but outside they want to explore. Well, it is not looking like she wants to eat, so we're just going to take this gorgeous little red tail boa right here. We're going to slide her back on in her enclosure. Now, once she's in here, she actually may want to eat, so let's see. She's about to get upgraded very soon, so hey, you want to eat? So it's not looking like she wants to eat right now. But I took a risk there by taking her out. But by the time we feed all of the other snakes, I know she's gonna wanna eat. So while we wait for the other snake to kinda cool on down, we've got her brother that we're gonna be feeding. And her brother is ready to eat. He's right here at the door, ready to strike. So we've got a little frozen chick right here. Well, frozen thought, and let's see if he wants it. Let's go. Guys, I'm sure he's gonna strike it in one, two. Oh my gosh, look at that. He absolutely nailed it. So as you can see right now, we might actually be able to even pull him on out. He might let me pull him on out as he's kind of just going over the prey. So as you can see right here, this boa is wrapped around the prey. You can see he's, he's got his mouth locked on the head and he's just kind of dragging it along. Look at him. He's got his meal. Now this is absolutely incredible. So we put him back in and he dropped his chick, but it looks like he wants another meal right now. So I'm gonna bring him another chick. Let's see if he wants it. Come on, buddy. I think he's gonna nail it, honestly. I think he wants it. Here, buddy. I've got a meal for you. Look at him. Look at him. He just took it gently from the tongs. That, <laughs> whoa, that was crazy right there. I've never seen a snake so gently just take a mouse. Normally they strike it as hard as they can, but this snake took it really gently, which was really cool to see. So, looks like he is ready to go. Now that he took two mice, let's see if this one wants to eat now. I'm thinking this one wants to eat. Now this one is actually getting moved today to a new enclosure. We have a nice new, beautiful habitat for her. She's just outgrown this. So let's see, you want this now? One, two, you want it? You want that? Well, it does not look like she wants to eat just yet, so we're gonna continue on this way. We've got actually a king snake and another red tail boa that we're gonna be feeding today. So we're trying to get this one boa right here to actually lift his head up right over the side. So as you can see, he's lift his head over the side and we're gonna see if he wants to eat. I'm thinking he's just gonna absolutely nail it right now. Oh my gosh! He's wrapped around the prey, just absolutely devouring it. So now it is time for my biggest snake of all. This is another ginormous red-tailed boa that I caught as a baby. Over five years ago, I caught this snake. And this is just another one, and this is the one that's gonna be eating this giant rat right here. This thing is crazy looking. So we're gonna try to lure her on out right now. We're gonna see if she wants to eat. I'm thinking she is. So let's see if she wants to eat right now. So basically I'm gonna have to bring this kind of as close as I can and I'm thinking she's gonna absolutely nail it. You can see she's flickering her tongue and that's how she's tasting what's right in front of her. Guys, today is an unfortunate day. The big red tail boa does not wanna eat. So basically how we solve this is sometimes if I just leave this rat in here, she'll actually come to eat it. So we're just gonna leave her be. We're one minute, 37 seconds later. So now, like I was telling you, it is time to feed our most aggressive snake of all. And that is the Florida King Snake. This guy is a crazy snake. And the reason why they call him King Snake is because they actually eat other snakes. If you look at him, he's going to come flying on out. Look at that. He just totally nailed it. And that is how I like to see all the snakes eat. This guy just absolutely rocked it. And one of the coolest things about these snakes is they'll actually eat, he'll eat this in about two seconds. It's not gonna take him any time to actually swallow that right there. Hey, Hannah, what do you think of that? That That's really scary. You <laughs> saw how fast he came out? <laughs> Jesus. That was insane. Mm -hmm. He finished his first meal, and it looks like he might be ready for his second meal. As you can see right here, look at that. He's coming on out. Look at that, he's coming. Let's see, are you gonna strike at me? Look at this, let's see if he wants to strike. And one, two. Come on, buddy, wait. Oh 
My goodness, look at him. He, I'm holding it on the tongs and he's just pulling it back on in. He has got his meal, look at that. Absolutely insane, and well that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy today's video feeding all of my snakes. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see more of these feeding videos, if you want to see me feeding my cats, feeding my monkeys, guys, let me know down below. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, you want to see more of my crazy animal kids, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, well, guys, all you got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.